Oh, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Nothing. Just the inspiration for today's video. Oh, I thought they told you. I'm your new roommate and teammate. I decided that of all the things to do, why not turn myself into Bella Parker? Because everyone loves a good Rainbow High doll, right? So let's go. As you can tell, the wig is the first thing I got, and probably the item I was most excited about. I could honestly go on forever about how much I love wigs, but I'm not going to because I think I summed it up best when I said, it's pretty. Let's go try it on. <laughs> Hi. Ow. Oh, I didn't almost just completely just kill myself. I'm kind of too lazy to go upstairs and get my wig cap. So I didn't. <laughs> this would be a lot easier if I did just deal with it and go get my wig cap. But I am a very lazy human being. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go get my wig cap. I'll be right back. <laughs> it looks so pretty. The wig cap made it so much easier, so I probably should have gotten it out in the first place. After the wig cap got put on, the wig was a lot easier to deal with. It's really obvious that it's a wig, but I mean like, she's gonna have a headband on, so. I think it'll be all right. <laughs> it's very pretty colored though. You can't really tell because of the like kind of yellow lighting in this room. <laughs> it's very pretty pink. So, hold on. Me very awkwardly trying to show how pretty the wig actually is. We have to go see what my mom thinks. Hold on, I'm like trying to shorten the tripod. <laughs> Hi. She thought it was really cute, but we were both concerned about how long the bangs were. And they were very long. Now my plan with this was to tape a couple of big pieces of paper together, shape a jacket piece, cut it out, and use it as a pattern, but that didn't really work as you will soon see. But first we have to head to the store and get fabric. Once we got home, I laid out the fabric so I'd be able to cut with it, and that's when I decided to just trace a jacket of mine, adding seam allowance. Once I did that, I pinned it down so it wouldn't move and cut it out. I also did the same thing for the skirt, except I stole it from my mother's closet, much like a raccoon from a trash can, except my mom's stuff isn't trash. After I cut everything out, I pulled the pins out of the skirt to make it resemble a skirt and not a pillow. I also pulled the pins out of all the jacket pieces, which took forever, considering how many pins I put in it. This thing was held down so well, I doubt. I forgot the reference I was going to use. Anyway, since I had two big jacket pieces and needed it to open, I cut one of them in half and decided that was all I was going to do for that day. Two, starting off strong, I lined up all the pieces, pretty side to pretty side, to prepare for sewing them. But before sewing, I took a cleanup break. Partly because I wanted to, and partly because my mom was looking at me like that angry cat meme. And now, for the sewing. I did the skirt first because I needed literally a single line to do it, but I was quite literally going at a pace that the DMV could only envy. And yes, this is the actual speed. The jacket went a little quicker, 
but not much. Day three was really slow because I was basically just using a fabric glue and using that to hem the jacket and skirt, although all day I kept feeling like I looked like someone, and I didn't realize until later that I had a little Mitsuki Bakugo thing going on. I don't see how that's relevant to this at all, but I just thought it was kind of cool. And that is what it looks like so far. Day four was sequins. Lots and lots of sequins. Now, I'm not going to lie, I was originally going to sew every one of them on, but I don't hate myself enough for that. So instead, I used Fabri-Tac, the glue most used and trusted by Orly Shani, aka the DIY designer. Only problem is, I didn't film the using that, so let's pretend I did. But when I tell you I sewed so many sequins onto that skirt before I gave up, it's insane. Day 5 was more sequins because I still hadn't realized I could use fabric glue and then finally I just glued it together. Day 6 was the day that I glued the sequins on and like I said, I didn't film it so instead have some pretty footage of the field behind my house. The glue took 24 hours to cure and with that I basically had the costume done. I had some thigh highs for my mother, had a plain black headband, decided the black bow on the headband wasn't needed, and had some shoes that I thrifted from Goodwill. And with that, it's time for the reveal. And we can ride the book and share that beat of love. I want to ride. Bye.